Hey guys. I'm wearing glasses today. No, not a personal choice. And this is why I didn't post last week. Um, I got an abrasion on my cornea. So that was fun. Nothing, nothing too serious. I just got in a fight with, you know, saber tooth tiger. Uh, tigers, tigers, two, uh, three, three tigers, separate tigers, and uh, didn't have time to deflect one of their, one of their, their claws, and you know, scratched my, my eye a little bit. So, so that happened. No, I'm kidding. A little bit of a less gnarly story. We think it's just a, we think it's just a piece of dust that did it. So yeah. So that made me feel good. That made me feel really good. Made me feel like a real alpha male, you know, knowing that a piece of dust can knock me down the same amount of time that COVID can. But anyway, um, we're back with some more Reddit. <laughs> let's let's do this thing. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna lie. This this ring light is really really fucking with me right now. I I can't look at light too directly. Otherwise, I will lose an eye. I will lose an eye and be like, what the what? God, <laughs> maybe I can do it without. That is, that is worse. Anyway, um, we're gonna go to top this week. Women dances to crazy bitch down the aisle at her wedding. <laughs> oh, I can't see. I'm too sure. <laughs> 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 Woo! 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 There's so much happening in this video. The bandanas speak for themselves in this video. They, they, they say they say a lot. This has attention horror written all over it. Oh, I get to choose a song that I get to dance on the aisle to toward my groom. What about Crazy Bitch? Oh, people normally do like the normal, you know, walking down the aisle like just subtle piano music. <laughs> nah. How am I supposed to twerk to that? Isn't this also like the time when like like the dad is supposed to hand their daughter daughter off to the groom, and like she's like, no, fuck fuck off, dad. I need my moment. <laughs> this is my moment to dance. Okay, <laughs> honey, can I can I hand you off? No, dad. Fuck off. Hey, you're crazy, bitch. Uh, trying to have a conversation with Machine Gun Kelly. Machine Gun Kelly. Hello, Martin Brundle, Sky F1. Good to see you. Uh, welcome to our grid. I have no idea what you said, but thank you. I said welcome to the grid. Ah, thank you, thank you. Honor to be here. Tell us about uh, your career at the moment. That's a, that's a puppy. What, what, what are you saying? Tell us about your career at the moment. What, what's going on for you? Um, oh, my career. I don't think about my career. I don't think about it. Oh, well, well, I'll tell you what, good luck with it, whatever you do. What do you think about our business in Formula One? Business is great. It's loud. Your life's on the line. That's exciting. I was in a studio the other week and uh, Lewis Hamilton was in the other studio. That was nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's been really good to see you. What do you, what do you think about my business? Ah, we love your business okay. because there's always been a great synergy between the music business and the motor racing business somehow. Wait, you, you go me, back decades. Can you give me your best air guitar? I uh, no, I can't. I learned the piano once and I know the middle yeah, C was near the lock, and that's about it. 
Let's do an air piano and air guitar collaboration right now. Three, two, one. There's millions, you do it. I can't do it, I can't do it. Keys, I need keys. I need the piano. I probably need to get on, but uh, because we've got some we got some people to see, but they don't deserve my they deserve my air guitar. <laughs> Something tells me I won't be on his Christmas card list, but uh, Oof. Oh, oh my God. Whoa. <laughs> what did I just go through? I felt like the video was 15 minutes long. First off, um, MGK, love the banana outfit. <laughs> Too bad you're acting bananas though. I guess, I guess they did like, like just jumpstart him at it. Like, like, Hey, MGK, answer these questions. You know, anybody's going to be startled and like taken off guard. Like, you know, normally, you know, you think people like MGK who have had interviews in the past like settle into it be like okay i know the drill lay it on me give me the questions and then blah, 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 blah. here's the answers um no not in this situation though i would say he was trying to go do other things but no then he just tried to just do air guitars <laughs> they were you know hosting the interview and because they didn't do it the way mgk wanted to do uh an interview that wasn't an interview um, he's like, oh yeah, thumbs down, guys. That was a horrible interview. I didn't even, I didn't even see an air piano get played at all. I don't think about my career. I don't think about it. Well, I'll tell you what. Good <laughs> Why is he acting so strange? Why is he acting so strange? Um, oh my career. <laughs> it's loud. Your life's on the line. That's exciting. I was in a studio the other week and uh, Lewis Hamilton was in the other- <laughs> He's just saying things. Oh yeah, your business? Uh, it's loud. Um, I was in the studio the- The worst job interview ever. Oh my God. Oh my God, Boogie. <laughs> if you want me to make a video, actually I might make a video about it because it's super interesting stuff. Um, just about Somebody that's been through the horror of being like overnight international YouTube YouTube star. But anyway, this this might speak volumes to you. Um, and if you want to le learn more, I I'll probably do a video about a lot of Boogie stuff. But let's take a let's take a look at his his job interview. It's only a minute, but I mean, there's a, there's a lot can be said in a minute, or not if you're MGK. Tell me a little bit about your background and where you think you want to go with the experience that you already have. Um, I did work at a small gaming store back in 2006, 2007. I am disabled, uh, recognized by the state of Arkansas, but also the United States government. There's that. Now, the, the downside of that is I am extremely depressed. So there's some mental health issues that we bring to the table. And then physically, uh, I, I am morbidly obese. I have no references, uh, no work history, and no education and when you google my name you might see rumors that i beat my ex-wife should mention i'm also a felon okay uh what's the nature of your felony aggravated assault how old is it about two years i did work in the porn industry for the better part of seven years so oh, i mean be real with me do you really think it would be a good idea to go to a real interview and reference porn It depended on the job, I would think. Oh. <laughs> and I'm also a pedophile. What? 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 I need a second. <laughs> a second. I learned so much in a minute and a half. How do you say I'm the victim without saying I'm the victim? This answer right here. Everything's against me. Um, the world's just against me. You know, I haven't really tried to do anything else, but like I said, I'm super depressed and I've only had jobs at porn. I don't know what else to do. You can't do this in an interview. You can't, like she is not your therapist. <laughs> you can't just sit down and, and just tell her your life story because she wanted to know your goals and aspirations. Yeah, my life is fucked, but I want a job here. It aggravates me so much, but I also love how he, how she read him like a book. Do you think it really be a good idea to say all that interview? He's like, um, depends on the job. What job? <laughs> Unless you wanted to hold 
you know, the boomstick for for a porn or something. I mean, maybe he could do that. Although he probably still wouldn't shut up. He'd probably still complain about stuff. Maybe he'd be the cleanup crew. I don't know. <laughs> you know, everyone's got to start out somewhere, you know? But the thing is, you first got to try. DSP rages at Taylor Swift fans for spending money on a concert. Who's DSP? I guess it's, it's like a content creator, I guess. <laughs> I have a big solution to this one. Are you ready? Here's the solution. Don't fucking pay $700 to go to a concert, you fucking idiot. I don't care if you're a teenager. I don't care if you're an adult. You're a moron. No concert is worth $700. You're a complete fucking jackass to pay it. And the fact that you went to a Taylor Swift concert and paid that just shows that you're a mind-numbing drooler. You're a fucking moron, and you deserve anything you get for going to that fucking concert if you paid $700 for your ticket, all right? Now, if you go to a concert, should you be blocked of your view? No, but that's the fault of the concert venue, not the fault of the other concert goers, right? <clears throat> so, yeah, the venue should be making sure that people that go to the concert don't ruin the concert experience for everyone else, but that's up to them, and if they don't, Again, shame on you for spending money at a concert venue like that and you didn't do research to find out if they do a good job or not, you know? It's it's sad, but people are dumb. People are cows. They fall for everything. They spend an insane amount of money on dunce-level shit. And then they fucking sit there and are going to start getting into a fight and go to jail over it. You're a moron. Holy crap. Oh, my God. Holy crap, dude. Take a chill pill. <laughs> Take a chill pill. <laughs> Jesus. People could do what they want. <laughs> In the grand scheme of things, like like for Taylor Swift, this big name, to go to your city and and present herself with songs and giving you a, a super great show, I would say with, with how how spectacular the show is, which I've which I've heard of, is worth seven hundred dollars. Debatably, how however close you are, and in this video. They were pretty dang close. And also, he, he also wants to say that, like, like they didn't do research, like, on how good the security is going to be or something like that. How the fuck are they supposed to know? <laughs> There's no research to be done. Nobody knows how anybody's going to react at any given moment. That's why it's, that's why security is there. <laughs> this guy's just mad because his stream isn't worth $700. It also just pisses me off because... Like, live entertainment is worth that much nowadays. Everyone has to get paid. And for everybody to get paid, and for all the, the, the spectacular lights, and 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 and, and the show, and, and, the, and the props, and, and the costumes, and the choreography, like, it all has a price point that has to be met. And for it to be this spectacular, it's gonna be expensive. $700 for, for that concert is not bad, especially when Taylor Swift is that good. Point blank, period. You can have you can have your own voice. That's fine. But damn. <laughs> Juggalo Rida hater party. You guys ready? I can just tell this is a banger. Okay, that's my next song. It's called Hater Party. Okay, right, Hater Party. Let's go. Beat. Let's go. Yes. Me and some other Juggalo Riders. We're going down Route 66. We seen a bar on the right. We pulled in. We saw a lot of vehicles. So maybe we thought something was going on tonight. It's a Friday night, so you never fucking know, right? So I went in. Here, everybody's dancing around, saying, fuck the Juggalo Riders. So we pull out our hatchets and our pistols. We raid on in. We're like, what the fuck did you say, you little bitch? Leader comes out, he's like, you best get the fuck out of here, faggots. I was like, fuck you, man. So I shot him. He fell to the motherfucking ground. The rest of the haters, they all had these goddamn knives, switchblades and shit. So I'm like, alright, let's go. Me and my three other homies, MK was one of them. He went over, jumped off the side of the building. Did a f side flip, sliced three necks open. I went straight in, two hatchets, cutting them straight down. My other two homies had their machine guns. They just started gunning down people to my right and left. 
the hater party was soon disappearing. People were locked up in their office. We beat the shit out of the door till we finally got in. We went in, all we seen was blood squirting all over the walls. Cause we cut them all open. <laughs> No, we're only halfway done. Oh my god. He learned to cuss today. This dude's like 12. He's a 12 year old chicken. <laughs> Not even on beat, just like, just moving. He's just like, he, he started the, the beat just to be like, this is a rap, but like, quickly, two seconds in, forgot about it. And he's like, yeah, we, we killed all these people because they said they hated us and we shot them. We cut their necks and I was like, dude, whoa, <laughs> whoa. Lay on the beat, man. Also, isn't Juggalo like a like a like a, like a street clown, like you hire for things? Hey Siri, what's a Juggalo? A Juggalo is a fan of the hip hop group Insane Clown Posse or any other hip hop group oh. to psychopathic. Oh, what's what's the clown thing? Oh, hey Siri, what's a Juggalo? A gigolo is a male escort of social community supported by a person in a continuing relationship. Oh, so I just mixed them both. I just mixed them both. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta check. I gotta check. Kinky knitter. No. No. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? No. Oh, or <gasps> freestyle. We're gonna look at freestyle. Bring it on. Ooh. Now that's a sick beat. Now it's gonna get tough on when if you stutter when you do I'm putting you in the car and all your blood's gonna splatter them I'm putting you in the gutters, you get dick right in your ass from rest saver well, why not I'm tired take it away it was dead. Yet the lip singer so fucking on you know I have officially become dumber. I I lost so many brain cells. Just kind of ruined my whole day there for a second, not gonna lie. I feel like I need to go read a book, <laughs> watch the Discovery Channel or something. Testimonial for Love Spell by Marriage by Prince Sajib. Hello there, I'm Lisa Lloyd. Hello, Hello there. there. So here's my story. I couldn't get anyone to get married to until I met Prince Sajib and he casted the Binding Love Spell. In just three days, DeBear approached me, and in just six months, we got engaged, and we're finally ready to get married. You're cool with it, aren't you? Yeah, I'm the luckiest man. <laughs> Thanks, Prince Ajib. Thank you. Huh? So, uh, wait, hang on. Let me, give me a second. I couldn't get anyone to get married to until I met Prince Ajib, and he casted the Binding Love spell. In just... Oh, oh, I'm following now. This guy's name is DeBear, which still doesn't make sense. Anyway, um, so Prince Sajib got them to get married or something. And in just six months, we got engaged and we're finally ready to get married. <laughs> you look like you're on the brink of tears. You're cool with that, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, who's to say? Who's to say Prince Ajib is really a miracle worker? So I'm I'm gonna check it out. Guruhealer.co.za. .co.za. I I am going to be hacked or something. I can feel it. Okay. Okay. Um. Sure. Okay. Yeah. I, I know the date. I know the date. It's not even that date. Is it? Why is it saying tomorrow? <laughs> why is it displaying tomorrow here? That's not correct. It's it's Wednesday. <laughs> Prince of Jeep. Oh God, what? Stop. No, with my relationship. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? That was so quick. Also, he is not online. He is not online. There's no way he's he's actively talking to me right now. There's no way. Now this is a rabbit hole. What is going on? What is happening? Guys, I'm scared. I'm scared. What What have I gotten into? All right, now that I feel like Prince Ajib is, is watching my every move, um, I'm gonna take my webcam here 
and um, unplug it and um, maybe throw it away. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, it's good to be back. Um, I'm sure by you know next Saturday I'll be gone with these glasses, even though I know, I know it's really hot and everything, but um, no, um, I'm totally kidding. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.